as we already have the header file checked now we can get into the details of incursus so let me start my demonstration here we'll have our incursus header file just like before and we'll directly jump into our main function obviously the obvious statement return zero now what we should do with incursus uh, the objective of this demonstration is basically print a string let's say hello world in the incursus screen so uh, to initiate an incursus session uh, the method that we'll be using is init scr or initialize screen and that is in short init scr so that creates an incursus session and this little method called end win or end window it basically finishes an incursus session so anything that we have to do with incursus would be in between these two functions so this is where we'll do our incursus things now if we want to output some text in incursus um, incursus session or incursus screen uh, there are multiple functions there so in our standard c library we have printf we have putus we have put put c so put c is for uh, uh, outputting a character put s outputting a string printf this is also string with format specifier and variables and so on and all of these have respective uh, incursus version so print the printf the respective version uh, 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 the incursus uh, version of printf is called print w put s is called add str or add string and put c is add ch or add character so let me put let me use print w and add str for, but for this demonstration let me let me uh, uh, let me show add str how that works so all right so as we are already in between init scr and end win we need to let me say okay i'm printing a screen called screen uh, sorry a text saying hello world that's it and let me add a new line here all right uh let's see if that works if we can see anything so all i'm doing is i'm initiating in cursor session i'm printing a screen uh, printing a text and then ending the in cursor session and then we're uh finishing our execution from the main main um main file main function so let's see if that works Right. At this point I have hello world and first name check. Okay, so let me compile my. Make sure we clear the screen and then compile it. Plan. Zero and my file name is zero and zero and hello world dot c, and then we need to include the uh, library in Cursus library. So the compilation without any error is done. Now run the executable. Hmm. we don't see anything and why is that the case so we are saying okay we have initiated in cursors and we are printing some uh, text in there and then we are finishing the in cursor session but have we done anything to pause in cursors in order to see uh, in order to see the screen we haven't done anything like that so that's where we would have another method called get ch or get character which is a text input method um so we are we are using that to halt the in cursor session so that we as users can actually see the screen and then it will basically this get ch function would basically halt the process for a user input a user input from standard in which probably which might be a, a keyboard input or keyboard key press so if we do that and let me also add another method here called refresh 
And what this refresh does is um, there are two uh, buffers or screens, as they say in, in Curses. One is the standard screen. The other one is the current screen. The standard screen is what we will see in our terminal. And current screen is something that is a buffer. So anything that happens in NCurses in between these two functions, init SCR and end win, will be first stored in the current screen. And the moment we call refresh, the current screen content will be flushed to the standard screen. I hope you get it. So, so what we are doing is we are adding a string or printing a string, and this string goes to the current screen. We call refresh, so this text actually flushed to the standard screen so that we can see it. And then we are halting the process for a keyboard input. So once we press a key, the incursive session ends and our program finishes. So let's see if that works. I will uh, compile again and run my executable. Awesome. We see it. That's great. So now if I, as you can see, the process is halt. Now if I press any key, the program, uh, program ends, the program terminates. So that's the thing. Uh, if we want to do anything in Encurses, first we need to do what we need to do. And we'll do what we need to do, I'm sorry. And then we'll refresh so that we can see the output in, um, uh, in our standard screen. So we'll refresh per our need. And then we halt the process so that we can see the output. And then we are ending the session, the incursive session. Thank you.